Which words should I stress? Now that you had a quick introduction to how words sound when they're stressed and reduced, let's learn the rules of which words are stressed and which are reduced. Stress content words. Content words are the words that carry the most meaning. These words are usually nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, and sometimes question words such as when, why, where, etc. If we removed the surrounding words and just spoke using content words, the general idea of what we were trying to say would still be understood. For example, if you heard someone say, went, store, morning, you would understand that they meant, I went to the store in the morning. Also, content words are like key words that you would use when searching a topic on the internet. For example, you would type, symptoms, heart attack, instead of, what are the symptoms of a heart attack? Another good example would be newspaper headlines. We would read, suspect arrested, instead of, a suspect has been arrested, and neighbors complain, instead of, the neighbors have been complaining. As a general rule, the last content word of a phrase gets the most stress. So, in the sentence, a suspect has been arrested, arrested will get the most stress. Similarly, we don't say, the neighbors have been complaining. Instead, we stress the last content word and we say, the neighbors have been complaining. Now let's practice stressing content words and placing the most stress on the final content word. Practice stressing final content words. Notice how the stress changes as more information is added to the end of the sentences. I like bacon. I like bacon and eggs. It's black. It's black and white. Do you want salt? Do you want salt and pepper? That's good. That's a good idea. It's hot. It's a hot day. I need it. I need to go. I need to go home. I need to go home at 5 o'clock. I saw him. I saw the man. I saw the man you told me about. He drove it. He drove the car. He drove the car he bought yesterday. He drove the car that he bought from his friend. Content words in detail. Stress verbs. Verbs are action words such as go, eat, and study. We emphasize the main verbs more than the participles or gerunds that come before them. Words like can, could, am, been, don't, and have when it's a participle are less important than the main verb. Content words in detail. Stress verbs. Verbs are action words such as go, eat, and study. We emphasize the main verbs more than the participles or gerunds that come before them. Words like can, could, am, been, don't, and have when it's a participle are less important than the main verb. Stressed verbs for practice. Notice how the verbs are stressed the most and how the surrounding words have been reduced. I'll call you. I saw him. I'll wait for you. I have to go. It's nice to meet you. Stress nouns, but not pronouns. We stress words like man, book, John, and Mary, but we don't stress he, it, her, and myself. Listen to the following sentence pairs and notice how the stress changes when the noun is changed to a pronoun. 
stressed verbs for practice. Notice how the verbs are stressed the most and how the surrounding words have been reduced. I'll call you. I saw him. I'll wait for you. I have to go. It's nice to meet you. Nouns and pronouns for practice. He told John. He told him. I like that car. I like it. I need a job. I need it. Stressing adjectives. Place full stress on an adjective if it's not followed by a noun. If it is followed by a noun, stress the noun more. Listen to the differences in the following sentence pairs. That was good. That was a good film. It's really hot. It's a really hot day. It's long. It's a long drive. John is nice. John is a nice man. Sentences for practice for content words. Wait. I'll wait for you. I can wait for you. I'm waiting for you. I'll be waiting for you. I've been waiting for you. I could have waited for you. I could have been waiting for you. I'll wait for you in the car. I should have been waiting for you in the car. Tell her. He'll tell her. He'll be telling her. He didn't tell her. He should have told her. He should have been telling her. He didn't tell his wife. He should have been telling his wife. He didn't tell his wife about the situation. He should have been telling his wife about the situation. I bought it. I bought a watch. I bought a new watch. I bought a new gold watch. I bought a new gold watch for him. I bought a new gold watch for his birthday. I bought a new gold watch for his 30th birthday. I would have bought a new gold watch for his 30th birthday. He lost it. He lost the money. I think he lost the money. I think he lost the money again. I think he lost the money that I gave him. He might have lost the money that I gave him. I think he might have lost the money that I gave him.